What up, guys? Welcome back to the Daily Drop. I'm your boy Jabron. I know you guys haven't probably seen me in a couple days. I've been busy, been getting a lot of behind the scenes things with YouTube together, like my logo, um, working on a billboard to put out, you know, spread the message, wake everybody up, empower everybody to become their greatest version, yeah? So welcome back, if this is your first time checking me out, please consider subscribing after just a few moments of some juicy info guys. So today is a late Motivation Monday post, we're going to be shouting out Kanisha Harris. Nisha is one of my really good friends from high school, we went to airline high school together and we've kept in touch after all these years, which is rare for high school buddies to do, but Kanisha's on her grind y'all. I'm going to leave the link to her Facebook. You can follow her on there. She just started this gallon water challenge, right? And it's a daily challenge, kind of mixed with the ASL Ice Bucket Challenge, except this is way cooler and I feel it's way more empowering. So, as Kanisha says, you get a gallon of water, whatever kind, you know, guys, your alkaline 47, but make sure it's alkaline, has a high pH, and most of all that it's actually filtered water, right? Fluoride free. You want to keep that pineal gland wide open, right? So what do you do? You drink a gallon of water and you just post a halfway pick, right? And if you finish the whole gallon, you just post another one. You can do it on her Facebook. I've been seeing all different kinds of gallons of waters that I didn't even know existed. Some of them looked really cool, right? So she started something really cool and I was checking out her comment thread the other day or yesterday and it was like almost 100 pictures, right? So it's really making a difference. And I know the difference drinking enough water in a day can make you feel right and what it can do if you don't have ample water in you I mean it really messes with the function and performance of your brain I'm not gonna get into the nerdy details of all that but you need water that's that's really obvious so big ups Kanisha motivation Mondays she's setting the standard getting it in I love it I love you and miss you Kanisha happy hustles keep working hard I'll see you at the top very soon. I miss you. All right. Second thing I wanted to talk about today. This veggie wash, guys. All right. A lot of people, they try to shy away from this, right? But I'm telling you, if you want to get 90% or more, I think it's 98% of your waxes, your oils, your human contaminated residue, your pesticides, everything that comes from your produce, right? This sucker right here, this organic veggie wash, it will coat all of that right out. Not only that, it smells better, and it's a sense of security, right? That you are actually eating something clean, fresh, and pure because if you don't wash your veggies, guys, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it could really upset your stomach, right? There's pros and cons with everything, a safe side and dangers to everything. So invest in this veggie wash, guys. Invest in a nice juicer. I'm not saying everyone could and should afford a $400 juicer, but in my experiences, I'm telling you, you're gonna save time with the cleanup, you're gonna save time actually juicing. You see that wide mouth right there? You see that wide mouth? You can just, you can throw a whole lemon in there, right? Show you. Turn this sucker on. Make sure y'all can see that. I hope you can see it. So with the regular juicer, you would have to cut these lemons into so many pieces, cut your cucumbers, right? With this, y'all, you literally, well, I cut half this cucumber just because I like the cutting process. Boom, easy, peasy, lemon. I'll let the juicer squeeze you out and check it. Throw a little apple in there, just for taste. Oh, snap. Forgot to put the, um, the cup for the pit. 
So now it's just coming all out. It's good stuff though still. You can use that for chips. There's no garbage here, y'all. Everything can be used. It's mother nature. All right. And boom. Really quickly, you got a cucumber, lemon, ginger, and apple concoction. Woo! Good God almighty, this tastes like, ah, tastes like life, to be honest. That's what it's all about, guys. Got to get yourself juiced up if you want to live the optimal, healthy, vibrant, frequency matching life. You have to get your frequency and your vibration up. You can't do it eating burgers and Taco Bell and whatever feels good all the time. All right, take it from a guy who could not stop eating garbage food to save his life. Okay, you have to take the first step, the foundational step. So get these greens in you, baby. You gotta start living more green. A lot of y'all may not like hearing that, but you have to, guys. The red pills, the meats, the carbs, the starches, the sugars, the crap. And the green pill is the green stuff. So live more green, guys. Live the life you want. It's possible, it's available as heck. You just have to make a move to the grocery store or away from people who eat like garbage, all right? I know I keep stressing that, but I'm really gonna knock it home. You have to eat greens, guys. Do it, buy it, invest. It'll be the best investment you've ever made in your life. I'm out of here, about to go get my jog on because I about to get my juice on. And after I do it, it just, I can't help myself. I have to go jog, I gotta move my body. It's all aligned, right? Mind, body, soul. And you can't perform with your body unless you're given your vessel the proper gas. You're not gonna hop in a Rari, pull up to the gas station and put in 89. I mean, you might if you're borrowing it or something, but last time I'm gonna say it. Buy your greens, save your money, read some books, invest, research, Live this juicy life, guys, and you'll realize life is but a dream. It's magical. It's a gift. No stress, no shame. Nada. Mwah. I love you guys. We'll see y'all soon. Peace.